All right, today we're gonna solve all of your rotational problems. Let's go. Okay, this is your Friday five minute fix. It's all about rotation. We're gonna get you fixed up so you can go play and have the greatest experience of your life. Make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel, appreciate it. Hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos that come out. Let's jump into the problems and the fixes. Okay, you've all seen this drill. Haven't you? Where you're like, okay, take it back, take your swing, and then drive into the wall. Right here, right? What a fantastic drill. Don't, don't ever do this drill in the history of your life from this point forward. Do not, do not do this. This is hurting you like never before. It's golf malpractice. Do not, don't, don't. let me show you why, come on. Okay, so that drill where you're banging into a wall right here, what that's doing, it's for, it's causing you to stop here, flip your hands because you're posting, they call posting up, right? Sounds good. You're posting up here, it's causing your butt to come up here and then you flip your hands like this and nothing good happens. That's all from trying to hit that wall. Hitting that wall stops rotation. When you're banging against that wall, you're, you're stopping your motion. That's the last thing you want to do in the golf swing. You don't want your rotation to stop. You don't want to hit here. That's, your hips need to go out here. Your hips need to turn around. So how do we do that? One, stop doing that dumb drill. Stop banging against the wall. And we're going to do something that's actually going to help you turn and rotate and it's gonna cause so many more great things to happen. I'm fired up because uh, golf malpractice drives me nuts. Let's fix it. Okay, here's the drill. Here's what you really want to do. This is, this is how you do this drill. All right, okay, you know that. So you're gonna stand this way. Okay, what you're gonna do, and you're gonna be about one foot length from one of your feet from the wall, right there. That's about where you're gonna stand, okay? Then you wanna put your club just right on your waist, just right there, okay? You don't want it sticking out too far, but maybe just a little, a couple inches. It's fine, right there, okay? Here's where you are. You're about a foot from, foot from the wall, and you're, and you're here. What you're gonna do, you, you're feeling your uh, rotation, okay? This is. This is what you want to do. You, that's, what, that's where you want to, see what we're doing? You want to get that butt of the club to the wall, okay? Now, if you lean back, you're going to fall backwards. You don't want that. You want to, you want to rotate, rotate, and this hip, in order to get it there, you're pulling this hip back, back this way, okay? So, you're here. You're not posting up. A post up would go like this, and you would stand up. A rotation gets that back and you're turning your hips to the left, boom, and you're just, you're driving and you want to be there. You see that? So I'm getting that butt of the club into the wall from here, okay? Make it harder, get farther away. If I stand up, I don't get it there. I have to stay in my spine angle and rotate here and I'm rotating to my outside heel, the back heel here, okay? The longer you make this, the easier it is. So we don't want that, we want it shorter. That's why you got just, if you go right here, it's, it's like an inch, an inch outside of your hip. Here you go, and you're like, boom, right there. Do this, feel that move like a thousand times, then we can move on. So every sport you do, everything you do, you're down in here like this, okay? If you're uh, throwing a ball, you're down here. Football, you're here. Uh, baseball, you're down in here. This is your body positioning, down in here. You're skipping a rock across a pond. You're down in here. You're, you're ro rolling clock craps. You're right in there. That's a sport. Anyways, okay, so everything you do is in here. Golf's the same way. So when you do that drill, 
thousand times, you're getting that hip back here, you're throwing and slamming that club handle against that wall back in here, you're here. You don't do this because you're not posting up against anything. You're turning it and trying to get everything going that way. You're, you're, you're getting the hip where they need to go and you're rotating onto the outside of this back heel. That's where your pressure is. And it's all on the inside of your back foot here because you're doing it correctly. And then what you're doing is you're creating space in here for that club to release all the way down the line. And that's where it needs to release in order to hit a decent shot where you're aiming, okay? If you come up and out of it and you're post up against the wall, then that club is traveling a different direction. And that's bad news. So here you go. And I'm just thinking, slam that club handle that's attached to my hip in that back wall over here. That's, that's the secret sauce. You're going to start creating massive amounts of club head speed and you're going to hit these beautiful shots at your target more often than not. More everything good and you're losing all the bad stuff because you're creating space in here to compress and attack the ball. That's what we have to do. It's all about how do you rotate though. You know, you can feel that and then what happens is you get that firing back here, you get this explosion happening right in there. And that's how you get great ball compression, great club head speed. You get that divot at the, after the ball. Everything's moving in the right direction. When you post up against the wall, you're coming up here and you're stalling your hips out. They're just stopping. If you slam that hip back here against the wall, then you immediately get on the inside of that back foot. It's automatic. You don't even have to think about it because things are moving in the right direction. That's how you get the proper hip rotation that the pros are getting. You can fire that and that's not going to go left. That's a nice high fade, 174 carry. Everything's working in the proper direction because you're not here. You're here. Do that drill. That's your Friday fix. Good luck out there when you're playing this week, next week, whenever you're out there. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next video.